YouTube, Ray right here, Fabulous Bulldogs, checking in with you guys today. Hope everybody's having a great day. Hope everybody's being safe out there. Um, I'm just up early this morning. I'm um, doing my chores. Got to clean out the dog kennels. Got to pick up the yard and things. So I decided to shoot a video, basically show you guys the routine and chop it up with you guys at the same time. So basically, I got to go ahead and clean out these dog kennels real quick. Um, change out their water bowls. I do this every single morning. I come out in the morning, I um, clean out the water bowls. You gotta make sure that the water bowls is clean. You don't wanna leave no old water from the night before or anything inside the water bowls. And I clean up the yard, make sure there ain't no poop or anything in the yard. So I'm gonna go ahead and get busy, spray down the kennels, clean out their water bowls and things. And I'm gonna stay in touch with you guys and just basically just chop it up with you guys today. We're not doing anything too spectacular over here at Fabulous Bulldogs. Now that the puppies are gone, I'm just taking care of the girls, making sure they're healthy. Chanel is doing, doing amazing. I'm gonna let you guys check out Chanel. She's bouncing back really, really good. And everything is going smooth over here at Fabulous Bulldogs. So I'm gonna let you guys see the girls. Um, basically let you guys see the routine, what I do every single morning when I get up. Um, I take care of the girls, I let them out, I feed them, and basically I just get busy. Um, breeding dogs is not just a 9 to 5, it's a 12 to 12. You constantly got to be working, cleaning up after your dogs. If your dog's living in a good environment, you got to make sure that you're cleaning up after them and making sure because dogs can be messy. So you got to stay on top of that type of stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and get these kennels and stuff sprayed down and I'll be back with you guys. I love this hose right here, just got a new sprayer, got the little jet on it. Got to get it together, you know, the grind don't stop. I normally give my dogs filter water, the water that's out of the um, water filter, but when they're outside, I do give them the water out the hose. Um, I don't give them too much, and I definitely don't give my pregnant females the water out the hose because it's not good. Water is very important, so if you got a pregnant female, make sure you're giving them distilled water or basically filter water. Water is very important, but when they're outside, I just give them water out the hose. They don't, they, they be out here sometimes, but it's getting kind of getting kind of cold out here in Phoenix, so it's really, Right now, it's good for them to be outside because normally in the summertime, they can't be out here that much. So that's why I'm cleaning out their kennels so they can come out here and enjoy themselves. And it's just a beautiful day out here in Phoenix. It's about 55 degrees, so it's starting to get really, really nice. Like I said, you guys, the grind don't stop, man. Breeding dogs is not a nine to five, it's a 12 to 12. You are always working, you know, and people think that it's all about the money. It can't be about the money. If you don't have a passion for this, you are not gonna do it. And the reason why is, you might have puppies every eight months, so you get a litter every eight months and you'll make some money. But there's 12 months in a year. So the rest of the time, you're cleaning up after them, yeah, you're cleaning out kennels, you're cleaning out poop, you're doing all types of things. So if you if you're not if you don't have a passion for this, you ain't gonna you ain't gonna continue it for too long. So you gotta love what you do. And me, I have a passion for dogs, I have a passion for bulldogs, and that's why I do this every single day. I love taking care of my dogs, I love waking up in the morning, cleaning up, making sure that they're healthy and they're strong. So 
I just enjoy doing this, man, you know? Um, I enjoy what I do, and you gotta enjoy what you do. So I'm gonna go ahead and let that um, dry out. I don't like to put my dogs in there when it's still wet, you know. Um, they just get all nasty and things. So I'm gonna go ahead and clean up the yard. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn this around so that way you guys can see the yard and watch my routine as I clean up the yard as well. So stay tuned. All right, hopefully you guys can see me. You guys can see the yard. Um, I wake up every morning, I come out here, and I clean up poop, poop duty. Um, so that's what I'm gonna do, clean out the kennels, I already cleaned out the kennels, so I'm gonna go ahead and just make sure that I got all the poop and everything cleaned up out the yard. And then when that's done, I'm gonna go downstairs and take care of the puppy. As you guys know, I just got a um, English Bulldog male. I kept him off of the Chanel Solomon breeding. His name's Fab. So he's still in that stage where he's pooping and things. So until I get him housebroken, so, you know, it's just like having a newborn baby. You gotta constantly clean up after him. So I'm gonna go down there and clean up after him as well. And I'm just letting you guys see my routine and the things that I do in order to keep my dogs looking good and looking healthy and things and basically keeping their environments clean because a lot of these breeders, they'll show you pictures and everything on Instagram, but they don't show you the living conditions of the dogs or where the dogs come from. And you'll be surprised. Some of these dogs live in some harsh conditions, I'm not trying to hate or anything, but, or talk bad about anybody, but, some of these dogs live in bad conditions and things and you know they're stacked on top of each other in crates and stay in the kennels all day and that's not what we do over here at Fabulous Bulldogs. Our dogs got a good life. You know it's not all about breeding and making money. I do make sure they have a good life and when I do sell puppies I invest it back into my dogs or I invested in trying to create the best English Bulldog I possibly can. So let me go ahead and clean up the rest of this yard and stuff and then I'll bring the girls out and let you guys check them out. So stay tuned. Poop duty. Yay. See, I stay on top of uh, the poop and stuff in my yard. I cannot stand having poop and everything all through my yard. It's disgusting. Plus, I got kids, and I don't want my kids to come out here stepping and pooping and everything, and this is my responsibility, so I make sure that I get it done. You feel me? All right, you guys, the yard looks good. I'm gonna go ahead and clean it up and then I'm gonna take you guys downstairs with me so you can see the routine of how I clean up the dog room. Then I'm gonna let the girls out so you guys can check out the dogs, you know? Gotta show the girls. So let you guys check out the girls. Let you guys check out Chanel. I know you haven't seen her in a while. Basically, I was just letting her recruit, I mean, let her recuperate after having the puppies. You know, she started losing hair and stuff, but it's all coming back and she's healthy, running around. Um, her, her nipples and stuff are starting to go up, so they're not sagging as much. And she bounced back really, really good. You know, that's a, that's a blessing, not only basically to have the puppies, but make sure that your mom bounces back just as good. And she is, so I'm gonna go ahead and throw this away. The yard is clean. I'm gonna take you guys downstairs with me so you guys can check out my routine and how I clean up the dog room. And then I'll let you guys see the girls. So go ahead and stay tuned. All right, you guys, so I'm down here in the dog room right now. I call this the dog room. It's their own little space that they have in my home. This is where I keep um, She-Ra and the new puppy, Fab. Um, I normally, I let them outside. They be outside most of the day. But right now I gotta clean up after them. So I'm gonna go ahead, as you guys know, I got these drop front cages right here. They're really, really good cages. Um, real easy cleanup. If they poop or anything, it goes straight down to the bottom. Um, I try not to keep my dogs on the wires, but when they're little puppies, I keep them on the wires, so that way it's cleaner for them. But I, when they get about six months old, I'll go ahead and transition them to the to the plastic bottoms. But like Shira, she's on the plastic bottom right now, but the little puppy, I keep them on the wires because they make a big, big mess. You know, puppies are messy. So I'm gonna go ahead and get them all straightened out. Go ahead and get it all cleaned up, and then I'm gonna let all the dogs outside so they can enjoy this, enjoy this fresh weather and you know get some fresh air. So stay tuned. What up, buddy? 
What up, man? Fabulous Bulldogs Fab. Check him out. One and only. Up and coming stud. Don't sleep. Merle. Triple carrier. Can produce the rainbow. Structure, quality, everything. She were kennel looks good right now. She she does really good. She's potty trained, so she doesn't go to the bathroom or anything in her kennel. So I don't have to run through that many puppy pads or anything with she were which is a good thing. So um, go ahead and sweep up this room. Go ahead and mop it, and go ahead and let the girls outside. Come on, Fat. My boy Fat. He's already. Getting a little bit of haters, and he's only 11, 11 weeks. Wait till he's full grown. Let you guys check out the vision. For real, this boy is the truth. Probably one of my best productions as far as the uh, big head rope, the whole nine. This boy is going to be amazing. Amazing. What's up, buddy? Got trophies from dog shows. This one right here is um, best English Bulldog female. My my Brindle girl, my standard female, Bella won this. When I went to my first dog show, I won my first trophy. Best English Bulldog female. So yeah, we be putting in work over here at Fabulous Bulldogs. Hey, and I want to send a huge shout out to all my subscribers, man. I really, really appreciate you guys. Um, there wouldn't be no me without you guys and everything. And um, if you've been watching my journey, you guys know that basically I, I, I came from nothing. Basically, I had one dog. And today, um, I'm truly, truly blessed. I got four top quality dogs and my program is going in the right direction. And I really, really appreciate all my subscribers. And if you're new to my channel, make sure you guys hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, and that bell notification. Um, go ahead and drop a comment, man. Say what's up and things in the comments. I really do appreciate all that. So I'm going to go ahead and mop this up, get this room clean, and I'm going to go ahead and let the girls outside so you guys can check them out. So check out the girls because I know you guys want to see the dog. So stay tuned. All right, YouTube. So I got the girls out here, as you guys can see. There goes Chanel right there. She is looking good after having those puppies. She is bouncing back really, really good. There goes She-Ra. she was still a puppy, so she's always messing with the girl. She always is sniffing and fighting. There goes Starburst right there. Come here, girls. They are looking amazing, man. I'm so glad at the direction that my program is going. I got some nice quality females. To basically start off my program you know chanel she just had her first litter so basically she she could have about two more litters she she's coming up on seven seven months so 
probably next month hopefully she has her first heat cycle that'll be really cool hopefully but you never know and starburst she probably won't come back in the heat until um until probably about three three more months three or four more months so basically i got top quality females and they all are healthy they're all are strong come here girls come here <laughs> they all are healthy they all are strong and shira you know she's just going through her linky stage um right now she's only seven months old and the way that bulldogs look as puppies is not the way they're gonna look when they get older so you cannot judge a bulldog from when they're puppies because they go through so many transformation she's basically at a teenager stage so she's a teenager right now and she's gonna go through a lot of other transformations hey 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 hey, hey calm down Look at them. Look like they trying to jump. Stop trying to jump her, girls. <laughs> you got to watch them sometimes. They'll gang up on a certain dog and things. And you got to make sure that, you know, you make sure they're not trying. Stop. Ah, ah, ah. Come on. Come on. You got to make sure that they don't try to gang up on them. Because they seem like they try to gang up on um, on Chanel. Because, you know, She-Ra is Starburst's puppy. The Starburst is um, Starburst's Starburst is She-Ra's mom, so they try to gang up on Chanel. Hey, 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 hey. No, no, no. Come on. Let's go. Come on. Come on, girls. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Watch out. Watch out. Watch out. Go ahead, Star. Good girl. Get back. Get back. We'll see. You all right, mama? Come on. Let's go. But yeah, you guys, so anyway, like I said, sometimes they be trying to gang up on Chanel because She-Ra um, she is Starburst's daughter. So if you leave them alone, it seems like them two be trying to be trying to jump her. So I got to make sure that, you know what I'm saying, I, I, I keep everything cool because they can get really, really um, rough and things. And Chanel is little. Look at Chanel. Chanel is only 30 pounds. She's a true mini. She's really, really little. But look at her, you guys. Her hair is growing back. Her hair is growing back. Look at her. She looks looking good. Looking good after just having puppies a couple months ago. So, you know, like I said, um, you also want to make sure the mom is doing good. You know, the puppies is doing good, but the mom is just important. All my dogs is part of my family. I love them all. I love all my dogs, and I, I take really good care of them and take pride on my dog's appearance. Look at them. Beautiful coats. No skin problems. Look at my girl, She-Ra. <laughs> she -Ra. But yeah, the kennels is looking clean, fresh water, fresh water, kennels is looking good, everybody's looking good, man, and we just rocking and rolling over here at Fabulous Bulldogs, man, I can't be more pleased with the, the direction that my program is going and everything, like I said, I got three top-notch females, um, people asked me if I was going to take um, Starburst to um, Maui, I was thinking about taking her to Maui, but I kind of want to go to the source, and the source is Rushmore, because Maui is a Rushmore, um, a Rushmore sun. And why go to Maui if I can go straight to the source? And as you guys know, Starburst is a uh, Bompton Chrome daughter who is a direct California Chrome. And Rushmore is off the same type of um, blood. He has um, Gold Rush, which is a um, California Chrome sun as well. So by taking Starburst to Rushmore, man, I create some fire. And um, I know Rushmore is closed right now to the public, but I hit him up on Instagram and he said, just let him know when she's ready and he'll see what his schedule looks like. So fingers crossed that I can go straight to the source, which is Rushmore and create that next level dog, man. It's all about creating that fire dog. And I have a vision that I'm trying to reach over here at Fabulous Bulldogs and hopefully I can get to that vision, you guys. Shira, Shira. You know, she she's still in that puppy stage. Like I said, she's only seven months old, man. And English Bulldogs don't really fill out and pop until about a year. So, you know, give my girl some time, man. Give my girl some time. You know, some people say that she was linky and so forth and so on. And um, I know English Bulldogs. I know the blood that I produce over here. And I know how it's going to turn out because of the way that I bred them. But you can't judge an English Bulldog from a puppy. You know, people see little puppies and they think, oh, they're so cute. And then they get older past a year, and them dogs don't look nothing like they looked when they're puppies. But I know the blood over here at Fabulous Bulldogs. I stay within the blood. Starburst. Hey, mama. 
So, yeah, there goes the girls right here. There goes Chanel. She did an amazing job with her last litter. She surprised me so much. She did an amazing job. She threw the whole rainbow. Lilac tri merles. Lilac tries. Um, merles. Everything. Blues in her litter. She surprised me. She did her thing. Didn't you now now? She did her thing. And look how she's bouncing back, you guys. She is bouncing back. So that's a that's a good thing. She's back to normal. She's back to normal, and she did a thing her last litter. She did her thing. I was surprised, you guys. I'm not going to lie. After waiting all that time for her to finally come into her second heat, it was well worth the wait. It was well worth the wait. Come on, girls. But, yeah, so basically I just wanted to show you guys the my routine. You know we weren't doing anything too spectacular over here at Fabulous Bulldogs right now. Like I said, I'm taking it easy uh, now that the puppies are at their new homes and things. I can take it easy and just focus on, you know, taking care of the girls, making sure they're healthy and, you know, spending a lot of quality time with them because when I have those puppies, it's kind of hard to spend quality time with, with, your, with your grown dogs because you have to focus all your time on the puppies and things. But look at Chanel, you guys. She's bouncing back. So now that the puppies are gone, I can focus on the girls and make sure that they're healthy and they're strong and they're getting the attention that they need. So that's what we're doing over here at Fabulous Bulldogs. Go ahead and hit that like button, you guys. Hit the subscribe button and that bell notification so you guys can stay updated with what we got going on in Fabulous Bulldogs the next couple of months. Should Man, we're going to have some big things popping in 2023. You know, so I'm just excited for what the future holds, man. God bless to all of you guys. Thank you for all your love and support. And you guys have a great day. Peace.